Hello and welcome to Trojans Live. Cody and one of our favorite guests, man. We've been talking to Talanoa Hufunga for a while now. I remember the first time we interviewed uh, Talanoa, Sean. It was in a spring game. I think yep. Talanoa was hurt, but he came over and, he, and Sean goes to me, man, I like that kid. I like that kid. You you barely played at that point, and uh, and you end up as the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year before it's all said and done. Welcome back to the show. Uh, you know you had your pro day last week as well. Four six one forty. Uh, were you happy overall with with how you performed? Yeah, I can't complain. Honestly, well, first off, is you know it's great to see you guys again and be back on back on the show. But uh, no, nah, I really can't complain. All glory to God. I'm thankful just to be healthy and be able to breathe but you know it was just such an awesome opportunity to go out there and uh, showcase my talents be around guys that I'm familiar with see my cousin and be able to compete with him uh, but we just had a good time so I was I was fortunate enough just to be healthy throughout the whole process so yeah Jordan I was going to bring that story up man I remember baby face look at the look at the grown man that is in front of us now man he's got I the know, beard he the hair now. he was baby face just big eyed on Cromwell Field for the first time man getting his interview on but congratulations telling on the great career man what's it like getting that at pro day out of the way for me it was just let me this is something that I need to get over and get past me here's my tape this is how I play football <laughs> okay let's do the pro day what's it like getting over that pro day and getting ready to back uh, to play some football was well, good to finally, like I think I was saying earlier, just to be able to have some other food, you know, kind of, kind of a little cheap, cheap meal here and there. And, and so for me, just to, you know, get over the hump. And, and so for me, it's just a blessing. I think just to be able to go out there and have some fun and just keep a smile on the face. You know, I think this is such an incredible process and not so many people get to have the, op the opportunity just to go through it. So uh, just trying to make the most of it and cherish all these memories and, and it's out the way now uh, and, and we're on to the next step. So. Yeah, it is funny, though, for a player like you in particular, because to me, it's not really your game. You know, your game isn't like, oh, look how good I look in the uniform. And a lot of these guys, you know, they put the big 40 times up and look how much they can you know, lift in the weight room. I mean, you are, as Sean and I have talked about for, for years now, one of the most instinctive players, one of our favorite players to watch. So when you do end up in a setting like Pro Day, what are you trying to prove? What, what were you trying to show out there to, to answer any questions that you might be getting from, from scouts or from teams? I guess it's to showcase my talent and my abilities. You know, I trained so much for, for life. I think that's the important thing. I went through a whole different training, you know, regimen where it was, we didn't really touch a lot of weights. You know, we didn't practice for the 225 like a lot of people practice. We didn't practice for the 40 like a lot of people practice. It was more or less just reading books and understanding the concept of why I'm doing this and, and for the longevity of my life. And so when you get such a, a great mentor and a great trainer like Troy, um, you, you learn so many different things and it's, it's beyond football. And so for me, just to, to experience that and go throughout this process, I've learned and try to be a sponge and absorb all this knowledge that's been passed to me. Uh, but I'm just fortunate enough just to get it out the way, but continue to, to prove that I'm just more than just a football player. I'm, 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 I'm Talanoa and that's, that's who I got to be. So just be authentic to myself. Yeah, for people who don't know out there, uh, you got to train with Troy uh, dur during this whole tr getting ready for the for the pro day, and I'm sure that was a special moment for you. How how did that all come about? Did uh, Troy reach out to you? Did you reach out to Troy? I imagine it like Luke Skywalker and Yoda, like that kind of trading going on. We haven't said his last like name, that? by the way. We're talking about Troy Palomalo, just oh, in case people okay. don't. Oh, the I other mean, Troy. I know he is kind of a first name, or you could just say his last name. He uh -huh. is that kind of a legend. I just wanted to clear it up for the audience. Go <laughs> ahead, Talanoa. Yeah, no, it's, you know, I, I came to him with it. You know, I was fortunate enough just to be in contact with him throughout from high school, actually, and just be able to, you know, reach out and get to know him and he gets to know me. And, you know, I've learned a lot throughout the years. You know, it's been a, a long three years, it feels like, but I've gotten to understand and the opportunity to have and uh, to have such a, a mentor like him just to learn from. It's been a true blessing. And so I just try to take in things. And when I asked, you know, he was he's more or less super excited to get to, to work. He doesn't really do this often. You know, it's kind of getting out of his shell. Uh, but, you know, he's such a it's very unique in, in the process and how we train because uh, it starts with the mind. And so for me, you know, having that that mindset and, you know, being able to callous it, uh, it's just been a true, true process and true to who we are. And so I'm, I'm very grateful. You guys see the movie Creed? Yes, see that movie? I feel like this is the plot of that movie. I was just watching that movie again the other day. And you're like the Michael B. Jordan character who's trying to get Rocky to train him. It's like, oh, I don't want to do it. It's not my thing. Somehow you got Rocky. I mean, that's basically uh, who Troy is as a football player, that, that, that small guy who could just do everything because he had the biggest heart. 
Um, but, you know, Troy also looks at everything differently. And I think you're sort of, you've sort of hit on the edges of that, but it sounds like you were having as many philosophical, philosophical conversations as you were, you know, X's and O's or, you know, talking about bench press or, or 40 times. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, you know, football has always been a part of my life. And, you know, getting to USC, I, I've learned a lot. I think you give me a great coach, I'm a great student. So for me, just understanding the game and learning it, it wasn't too much of a hassle when it comes to these meetings and interviews that you do, because I, I love football. It's just kind of who I am and what I love to do, but learning the different things about life and the most important thing about being present in the moment, I think that's truly what I've learned. And so that's really cool to have, you know, your, your Mr. Miyagi in, in a way, <laughs> being right next to you, teaching you those things and, and you know, having that ability to learn and absorb and have an open mind. Cause I think a lot of, not a lot of people are open to new things. And so for me, I just wanted to be open and uh, just like I said earlier, be a sponge and absorb. So uh, it's been an unbelievable opportunity. Telenor, what kind of, what kind of feedback have you gotten back from the NFL so far? Is there any uh, teams that are, seem to be more interested that, you know, have been a little more verbal with you talking and uh, seem to think that maybe they got, they got a chance of getting you? I hope to me, just more or less, even if I get up, you know, even if I just get a chance, uh, drafted, undrafted, I don't really, you know, that's not really a worry. I think you just give me opportunity anywhere. Uh, I'm more or less just happy to be part of an organization. So um, having that that mindset and in, in what you can accomplish, uh, not, you know, each team has reached out. And I think that's the most, you know, it's, it, you don't really know. It, you know, a team that shows love in the beginning could be a team that Watch you- Watch man, they're lying. <laughs> you know, and team that shows love at the very end, you might you could hold, end up in a totally different environment than you thought you were. Uh, so for me, I'm more or less just open to the fact that all these uh, these teams are just hopefully going to get a, a, a great person, uh, something that's somebody that's very authentic to themselves and somebody that's willing to to learn and, and, uh, and adapt to a new situation. For the uh, 2021 USC football team, spring football starts tomorrow. Uh, you know, you, you were really part of the transition in this defense under Todd Orlando. What are you expecting uh, out of your former teammates uh, going forward in the spring and, and then into, into the fall? Uh, what has you excited about the, the future of USC football? I'm excited for the new energy. You know, being able to come back and talk to a few new guys, you know, everybody's super excited for what they're, they're, they're about to do next year. And so being able to have cousins on the team too, it kind of helps because I can reach out to them whenever I want and really get to know what's going on on the inside. So having that ability and having them around, it's been a, it's, it's going to be cool. I'm excited to see what happens there next year. So. Well, good luck. Well, Talano. Great... We're all pulling oh, go for ahead, you, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. No, just say, want to say good luck to Talano. We're all pulling for you, man. Heck of a career. And it was a, it was a pleasure watching you here, bud. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, definitely one of our favorites. Definitely a guy who's going to play a long time on Sundays. We we'll look forward to watching that.